uh, do you know this guy who was dead in 1973? Okay, Bruce Lee. Okay, so uh, he, in one of his interview, he said, well, he's, he speaks very philosophical, and my students, when they see this, they start laughing because I show them a lot of philosophical things from time to time. So he says one time, limitations as no limitations, comma, no limitations as limitations. It's very philosophical, but if we translate it to ourselves as a layman, like, uh, there are limitations wherever you go, but you should treat them as no limits then you can only succeed. And I would encourage everyone today after the session, you can uh, Google or go to Wikipedia to learn more about Bruce Lee. Not about his fight scene in Fist of Fury, Enter the, Dra Enter the Dragon or The Way of the Dragon, but how his life was in the United States when he was uh, 18 years old. So you'll learn a lot from that. And also the second one, it's also from the interview which was done in 1971, December 21st. Uh, in Hong Kong. He said, be water, be water, my friend. Okay, what does that mean? Like, do you know what water is? Yeah. Like, if you put water in a bottle, it becomes bottle shape. If you put in the river, it becomes a river shape. And if you put in a coffee uh, mug, it becomes in a coffee mug shape. Now, if you put yourself into that situation, it means we have to assimilate wherever we go. The environment will not change for us, but we have to adapt ourselves to the environment. So these two, well, actually this one is uh, his famous quote, and this is also, if you go to YouTube, if you, have I've, if you have not switched off your mobile phone, if you search it, you can find it, okay? Uh, the interview is quite uh, motivational. Now again, and also he's a Chinese as well, you can see how he f overcome the uh, discrimination in the United States and how he became successful. And that's a lot for us to learn. So today, I'm going to tell you more about my life, okay? And I'm going to divide that into five stages, okay? Now, the first thing, stage one. Yes, that's not my son, that's me. <laughs> this picture was taken in 1986 or 85, I can't recall. So when I was studying in the kindergarten. So stage one is my early childhood. I studied in a Chinese kindergarten. Like, when I was a kid, I started to immerse with the local community. And it was quite fun, actually. Every day, like, when I was going to school, I, like, I would not say, like, I'm brown and he's yellow and that guy is white and that is black. We just go there every day as naive as, uh, and innocent as possible. And we rode the bikes around and played the, the, the games. And we were pretty much happy. So... At that time, I was already in contact with the local community. And I'm sure most of you, kindergarten, ironically, you study together with the Chinese students. But as you grow further, you try to segregate yourself. But let's see if your case is like mine. Now, in stage two, so I studied in Delia. Okay, I'm a product of Delia, uh, Hibo. And uh, when I was in Form 6, like in the class, there were 30 students and 28 were the Chinese students, local Chinese, okay? And two of us. And, uh, well, this YES experience I'd like to share. Do you know what YES is? A magazine for the Hong Kong teenagers. YES, Jab, So in 2000, one of my classmates took a picture with me. I said, all right, okay, he said, uh, alone. Okay, I said, okay. And he took my picture, and then he sent to this uh, magazine. And you know, uh, he sent my picture for a contest. <laughs> okay, in yes, you know, they have the hao chou, hao fa. Like hao chou means the beautiful, uh, not the handsome guy in the school, and uh, hao fa, it's the, uh, the beautiful girl in the school. So there's a contest like this, like Miss Hong Kong or Mr. Hong Kong, something like that. I mean, for, 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 for at secondary level. So I didn't know, like my photo was sent already without my consent. And, um, and why I want to share this with you is, the process. So uh, the magazine, they called me uh, for some sort of casting. I said, okay, I'll go. And then when I went there, then I asked them, can you please tell me who nominated me like, to be here? And uh, okay, they, they told me. And then, okay, of course, I forgive my friend because it was quite attractive. You know, if you win, there was a handsome amount of money and this and that, all fancy things. So uh, what happened was, 
in the process, like, uh, well, it was painful, or uh, I don't know, like how to describe it, but. Uh, in the comp like it's a competition like you know when you watch Mr. Universe or Miss Universe like you have to perform on the stage and I have no these talents I, I, I lack these kind of things and of course uh, I did something silly and stupid and uh, I, I was able to won the uh, the best performers award and also I won the campaign in 2000, uh, 2000 and I couldn't believe I won so what I want to share is in that context like everyone inside were Chinese people. And I was the only guy who was very outstanding there because of the skin color. And, and well, during the rehearsals, because I, I studied French and English. I didn't study Chinese throughout. So in the process, they will give us things and everything in Chinese. And, and also in the process, like when you do the rehearsal and stuff, like the people are always shocked to look at you and, and they have to treat you extra. I mean, they have to treat you extraordinary. Because they don't have, like they didn't expect you to come inside. And now you are there, they have to look after you. So that process was a little bit painful, but I have learned one, one very important skill, or I would say uh, I've amassed a very important experience, is no one will adjust for you. Okay, that's very true. And uh, you have to adjust yourself with that environment. And in that contest, I have learned that. But I can tell you, they give you everything in Chinese, even the food when they, uh, it comes like they don't know like I'm a Muslim. And they give me, okay, pork chop rice. It's okay, this is for you to eat. It's very good. I said, yes, okay, thank you, I'm a Muslim. Okay, they said, okay, eat it. So it's strange, you know. So you have to explain to people, but, well, you carry on. At the end, uh, I think it was the, uh, at the same time, I try to work different part-time jobs. I don't want to go into detail in that. But again, it gave me a lot of opportunities to work and immerse with the local people. Uh, well, what I believe, like in Hong Kong, if you can mix yourself in the society, people will not intentionally discriminate you. This is proven, like empirically proven by me, in my case, in your case, you need to explore. Then, in my stage three in my life, in stage three, I didn't join any wars, okay? Or I was, uh, okay, so I like to play war games, so I just put this there. I started to play war games at that time. So, again, when I was preparing for my HKC and HKA level, at our time, the picture was very gloomy. We were not clear what will happen to us. Uh, we have not studied Chinese, we studied French, we can go further. But we were wondering like, whether we can go and be enlisted into civil service. Can we work as a policeman like when we finish university? So those things were very gloomy for us. And if we compare to your situation, you will know much better than I do. Then, well again working. Uh, so I'm in contrast with uh, Dr. Raiz uh, context. She has a small W, but I think I have a big W in my life. I, I'm a workaholic. Now, again, uh, I'll jump that. I'll go to stage four, to my current life. Okay. Oh, I still remember when I finished my uh, university. Uh, do you know what City Super is? Do you know the store City Super? The Jap Japanese store. So when I finished my bachelor's degree, I started working in City Super. Of course, the first disappointment came from my parents. They said, you finish a degree and you're going to work in a supermarket? <laughs> and you have to go all the way to Central? There's one near your home. Welcome, just work there. <laughs> so it was, of course, very hard to explain and tell them, City Super, welcome. <laughs> but, to, but to them, supermarket is supermarket. So, uh, and I was... Well, I mean, uh, I have a nature, like I always, I, I'm a humble person, like when I start with something, whether it's cleaning, whether it's serving tea or coffee, I enjoy whatever I do in my life. So, I, st I worked there for 21 days, I remember, 21 days in City Super. So, I, I think our, our vice principal saw me one time, like she was passing there and she saw me. And uh, she came to, uh, she didn't came to me, I mean, she called me. 
and said, are you interested to come back to the school and see if you can contribute something back to your uh, uh, students, I mean, your, your juniors. So then I said, okay, why not? Let's give a try. At that time, I was uh, honestly, frankly speaking, I was attracted by the, the salary. Like compared to City Super and compared to Didier Hibo, it's two different things. Man, you should take this opportunity. Then I went in. And then, only then, I know if I don't take this opportunity, I don't think, I mean, I'm not trying to be a, a Gandhi or a Luther Martin King or whatever great person. I was very pragmatic. Like, if I don't go in, like, we don't have role models and examples at our stage. So we need that. So, at that, uh, when I started working, I had the intention. So, if, I mean, uh, if God has given me so much, I should take this opportunity, working as a teacher, and give back, so that we will have more ethnic minorities getting into this field or in other field. So you can compare, I joined, well, you'll know my age if I tell you like this. Uh, I started teaching in 2003. So th I, this is my eighth year. And you can check how many more teachers we have now, ethnic minority teachers. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. I can tell you I know around 12 to 13 already, like young teachers. And uh, uh, we can see like social workers. And uh, I believe in future, like I hope before my, all my hair falls, we can see policemen, Pakistani, Indian, Nepalese policemen. So that's what we do. We think that if we work in school, we can only change the students that we look at, but we cannot change the broader context. In 2008, we established the Pakistani Students Association. We wanted to uplift society's awareness on us so that they know the education that we can better education for ethnic minorities, better future for them. And better future of ethnic minority, the better future for Hong Kong. So we believe that if we have education for ethnic minorities, you guys will be able to integrate to our society. Our refers to Hong Kong. And if you integrate, then you will be empowered and you will do well. And this is what we always believe in and we believe. And also, I told you, I didn't study Chinese. I was not as lucky as Dr. Raiz and uh, the other students here who are able to learn Chinese. At our time, we didn't have. Our parents didn't know. No one told our parents Chinese is important because it was under the British colony at that time. So working in Didier Hebo for eight years, now at least I can, I'm proud to say I can read most of the Chinese that they give me, the internal documents. I'm still working on my writing. And that was one of the things that uh, I think is struggling our ethnic minorities, and that's why I devoted my PhD study into why ethnic minorities are not learning successfully with Chinese. And I'll tell you the result in November. Uh, hopefully, pray for me so I can finish by November. And then stage five, future goals. Finish my PhD, that's the short future and continuously contribute to our ethnic minority. We don't need someone to come and thank us, but we want to ring the bell, and you guys know what is happening, and you know what the true picture is, and if you're successful, we achieved our goal. And finally, please remember, limits are self-induced, okay? We have to be positive if we face or indirectly or vicariously face discrimination or we face obstacles. We have to remember limits are self-induced. Even if there's our limits, remember what Bruce Lee has said earlier.